Hello there, Sarah Ollie with your Wednesday footy feed. And we will get to the latest out of Geelong ahead of Patrick Dangerfield's 300th game. But first, let's head to Nat Edwards. And Nat, the AFLW captains have gathered at Marvel Stadium ahead of Season 7, which officially launches tonight. Nat, it is all happening. Yes, Sarah, just eight days to go until season seven kicks off. And it was a historic moment here at Marvel Stadium earlier today with every club represented here at Captain's Day for the very first time. As we know, four new clubs, Port Adelaide, Sydney, Hawthorne and Essendon. And on the Bombers, they announced their leadership group last night, Bonnie Toogood and Steph Kane to be co-captains. Toogood, well, we know she was a Bombers fan growing up. She admits it will be a special moment, Sarah, when she leads the team out for the first time next Saturday night against the Hawks right here at Marvel Stadium. I'm probably going to be a little bit emotional if I'm honest with you. I'm an emotional person as is but I think that's when it will kind of hit home. I've only known for less than 24 hours that I'm going to be co-captaining with Steph and um, I'm, it's still sinking in. I'm still I think I'm in a little bit of shock but that will be when I, almost like the penny really drops is when the two of us are walking up the race here at Marvel Stadium for our first game. We know Too Good left the Bulldogs in the off season on the dogs though, her former side. Well, they missed out on finals just in season six. Their skipper Ellie Blackburn making their intentions though for season seven clear. We want to play finals footy. I mean, there's no denying that or hiding that fact by any means. I've, I've played in one finals game and just so happened to be a grand final in my entire AFLW career. So I want to play finals footy and, and I know our team definitely wants to do that. So that's the expectation for us. In other news, Fremantle will be without their star Ebony Antonio for most of the season after she injured her PCL. She's actually in pretty good spirits, to be fair. We, uh, I saw her come down into the club and she hadn't had the, the news as such. She'd just had the scans. Obviously, we're going to wrap our arms around Epps and we're hoping for a really quick return. We know that she's going to do everything correct in terms of rehab, as she always does. And finally, Sarah, the grand final for the AFLW is set for the last weekend in November. Now, the AFL says there are no plans at this stage to lock in a permanent grand final venue, but we'll just have to wait and see. As it is, though, we are just so excited for season seven to kick off. As I said, eight days to go. Back to you. Absolutely. Thanks to Nat Edwards there. Well, to Geelong now, milestone man Patrick Dangerfield hoping to add a flag to his coveted resume. On Saturday afternoon, the explosive cat will run out for game 300. Another highlight in a glittering career that includes a Brownlow, four best and fairest and eight All-Australians, a Premiership, the one thing missing. Look, it's certainly, I think it's, it's the, you know, it's the finishing piece, if you will, but I don't think that necessarily defines players, um, it's what we all play for, but there's so much of our game that I, I think you take enjoyment from, not just you know the, the, the final game in September. Forward Jeremy Cameron won't feature at GMHBA Stadium this weekend after suffering a hamstring setback. The club maintaining its only minor. The people who are looking after that are really confident, so I'm just echoing what they've said, they were really confident. Um, you know, in the, the day or two post-game that he'd be available for the first final. That, that case has only strengthened in the last day or two. The Cats take on the Eagles, their last hit out before the finals. Time now for our MetLife 360 health injury update. And we're joined by Melbourne defender and physio Libby Birch. Lib, what did you make of the Cameron injury? Yeah, look, I looked at the vision from the, the game against the Gold Coast Suns and Jeremy Cameron did have a mechanism of a hamstring injury, running at high speed towards that Gold Coast Suns uh, forward and yeah, did pull up with a sore hamstring, came straight off to the bench. The research says with a hamstring injury, 21 to 28 days, so he will be pushing for that first week of finals. Yeah, and so given all of that, Libby, do you think the Cats will take a conservative approach? I definitely think that they will take a conservative approach considering Cameron's history with the right leg hamstring. He had three last year uh, that were low grade to medium grade strains. So considering that and his age, I definitely would say that they'll take a conservative approach. Thanks to Libby Birch there. And sticking with the injury news, Jarman Impey's season is done. Hawthorne coach Sam Mitchell confirming as much today. He's had a screw in his foot that's been causing him trouble for 
10 or 12 weeks probably, maybe a little bit longer than that even, since before the bye. Um, so that's been causing him a bit of trouble and he hasn't been able to train very much. And he's such an important player for us and we just wanted to get it done as soon as we can. And um, so he's had his surgery. And lastly, how's this for inventive thinking? Cal Toomey telling Trade Desk whoever ends up with pick one should consider trading it. This is the year where you put it up for, for trade yep. and say, what have you got? Is this a chance to split your picks? Because Will Ashcroft has put himself up as the number one player in the pool, yep. but no one can get him yeah. because he's tied to the father-son rule at, at Brisbane. So that means if you push back a spot, George Wardlaw looks like the other candidate, but has had you know, three hamstring injuries now in the second half of the season, so he's unlikely to play again. That adds that extra layer of intrigue, and I think that North, if they do have it, or West Coast, should be putting it on the table and saying, well, what are the offers? Can we split this and get two really good players for the price of one? Catch Cal and Riley on the Trade Desk every Wednesday at 12.30 Eastern. That's all from us from your Wednesday footy feed. Have a great night.